back in high school, I guess I'll go back to then. Um, I was mm-hmm. fed up with seeing the Iraq War. Yes. I thought the amount of people being killed and justification for it wasn't really there. Mm-hmm. And um, I sort of got interested in like politics back then. Mm-hmm. But the older I got, the more I wanted to get involved. And so I'm on the autism spectrum. And for me, it's hard to really go because of social anxiety to be at events. Right. So that was my way to really um, show up and be there and to be able to focus on like what's happening. And the more I shot, the more I wanted to show up and sort of developed into a career. And do you then find that to be therapeutic then and actually calming to be out there? And, and I see Luis shaking his head. Yep. I mean, yeah. weirdly enough, it is. Mm-hmm. Because it gives me something to focus on. Mm-hmm. And then um, my photography has just sort of evolved. Mm-hmm. Indeed. And whose work are we looking at here? That's mine. Oh, look at the precious That's baby. Lano Castile's car. Yes. You can see blood on the door handle. Yes. When that oh. happened, the community put a video out. I thought it was in Texas, but then when I realized it was in Minnesota, mm-hmm. I headed out to the site to see the BCA investigating his car mm-hmm. in the scene. Oh. That's when Ilhan Omar was a won the nomination mm-hmm. for the Democratic Party. So basically, in Minneapolis, if you get the uh, the Democratic nomination, you've won. Mm-hmm. That's at Standing Rock. Oh my goodness! That's Jamar Clark at the Fourth Precinct. Mm-hmm. That protest. That's when Lance Scarcella shot five protesters. Oh. So the community crowded around that person and mm. wanted to give um. Wanted to try to help save his life. Mm-hmm. See, at the time, there was two people that were shot. I thought it was just those two people, but it turns out five protesters were shot. <sighs> That's a cop, because most of the time, like, they're stern. But mm-hmm. what stood out for me for that is he showed his humanity. Yes. Then. And there are many that do. And that's one thing that I, I keep trying to express to people is people that are in this movement, they're not just across the board, anti-police. They are anti-corrupt police. That is that is the issue. And so many um, activists and, and even family members come from families with law enforcement in their families. And there are some in law enforcement who you know, do are sharing their humanity and, and they do feel and I trust and believe that that the day will come when we can all find that common ground for good. You know, I keep praying that the corruption um, will be revealed and dealt with appropriately. Those are all from the riots when they broke out. Wow. Look at the masses of That's the Wells Fargo burning. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's some sort of a, that's when the truck ran yes. through. Mm-hmm. I was on the other side, so I wasn't able to get the shots of it really coming through. Mm-hmm. But um, as soon as it happened, I jumped to the other side. And that's some prayer that was happening. They're actually doing baptisms at the George yes. Floyd Memorial. Yeah, there's a lot of that. We baptized uh, eight people at mm-hmm. my my event in Lakeville. It was beautiful, yes. wasn't it, Louis? Yes, it was very yeah. nice. I, I really enjoyed it when I was there. Yeah. there's Again, there's so much beauty that is happening, and you guys have seen that, you know, um, there on, on the front lines. Um, but it, it isn't what's being shown in mainstream media. And so we want to be sure to get this out to, um, to everybody as well. So she started um, dropping to the ground when they were doing prayer. Yes. And crying. Mm-hmm. But then a bunch of pastors came over to her and started praying over her. Yeah, amen. And I think the shot after might show what happened. Next. She mm-hmm. got up and started saying, I forgive him. Oh. And so I don't know who she was talking about, but it was a powerful moment for her. Yep. And you've captured that clearly. Mm. So a lot of it is capturing people, humanity, emotions, mm-hmm. the human condition. 
Mm. Like you put your politics aside and you just focus on what you want to capture. Because that's right. I mean, the one thing that connects us all is our humanity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Which one was this? That was the march. Um, Terry Willis was supposed to show up, Mm -hmm. and um, he didn't. It was about a ninety-five degree day, Mm. so I think it was a seven or eight mile march. Yeah, it was hot. Right, I remember hearing about that one. Mm-hmm. And she was um actually people were marching by, and she asked if she could spray people with water to oh, cool them off. God bless her. And she started just everybody was oh. cheering as they went through. Oh, that's precious. I can't. I'm just, I don't know how they were able to handle it with all that gear, marching eight miles. Yeah, they're just committed, oh. dedicated. That, that's in Kenosha. Mm-hmm. And this as well. That was powerful to your gas. Probably the strongest I've ever experienced. Oh, that's one of the guys who was shot, killed. Oh, my word. I saw Kyle Rittenhouse walk past me and oh. right after hearing some gunshots. So mm-hmm. I took cover behind a wall. Mm-hmm. And then um, I didn't know anybody was killed. But um, I ran over to where someone was screaming. And huh? then I saw them take him. Oh. That's okay. a Mexico City in psychiatric mm-hmm. institutions. Mm. Well, with Disability Rights International to document conditions yes. inside them. It was mm-hmm. for a report to the United Nations. Again, humanitarian issues. Mm-hmm. Some of them were bad. Some of them were really bad. And mm-hmm. one of them was actually recent. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, someone like that who's malnourished, laying in a bed. And some of the places like this was more about community. Right. So even though they didn't have the same funding. Sure. It was still like a better place because they were, um, they had community there. Mm-hmm. That was one of the worst places because they had children locked in the jail cells without water or toilet. Oh. Pretty much all of them were in diapers. They didn't oh. teach them how to use a toilet oh. or even have facilities to use it. Mm. And there was one staff person in that room. And that's when we were there. I, maybe it's different when we're not. Right. But as you can see, that person's laying on the ground on that child. It's a, a institution full of children. Mm. There's no toilet. There's no food. It's a hard ground and there's a thin pad. And they just gave her a, a ball and for him. Um, so that was really hard to see. And so the work that you guys are doing, you guys are sharing truth. You're sharing truth, and sometimes it's in a it's in a place where, um, you know, the truth has been has been squashed. The, the truth has been hidden, and you know, um, we're we're grateful for you guys, and we're grateful that for the work that you've done. 